but your Lord. Remember me and I will remember you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. So remember your Lord. You have ego, evil and egoistic thoughts. Huh? Then continue to have it until something is going to smack you. That time you're going to wake up from that daydreaming. Why a person is having evil or egoistic thoughts? How can the one who is saying that he is a believer have evil or egoistic thoughts? You have thoughts about evil because you don't have thoughts about Allah. Because you are being busy with evil. Why are you being busy with evil? What is evil giving to you? Which prophet, which saint says you have to be busy with the evil? Only way we are going to be busy with evil is we are busy with the evil inside of ourselves. There is shaitan inside of ourselves. Our nafs, our ego that is inside of ourselves. It is not as people say, Ah, oh, just say, Auz Billah, the shaitan rajim, then it's going to go away. If you're not believing, if you're not with the believers, if you are not putting discipline into your thoughts, those are just words to is not going to have much effect on you. But you believe. First you say, I have all these evil thoughts. It's running away. I cannot control myself. Then you're going to say, I must find someone. Wahhabi is just going to say, you pray to Allah. Don't you know? All nations, they pray to Allah. And Allah did what? Allah sent them a prophet. They're in trouble, they pray to Allah. Allah sent them a prophet to change. So Allah sent us a prophet. Prophet, I said to Islam, that is enough for us from now until judgment day. So, you have evil thoughts. You cannot control yourself. You have to find someone who is representing that prophet. His inheritors. As for the prayers. Sit. Which is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if you have any problems, go to the the Holy Quran, go to the Ahli Zikr. Those who remember Allah a lot, those who remember Allah much, that when they wake up, they remember Allah. They remember Allah before they go to sleep. They remember Allah standing, sitting, lying down. You want to be with them. They will help you. Be busy. They at least be busy with the awliya Allah, the friends of Allah. You don't want to be busy with the friends of Allah, then be busy with those ones whom He loves. You have to make a decision. You're sick. You have to make the decision. You want to see a doctor. You have to make the decision that you're going to take the medicine. If you're sick and you say, I'm sick, they say, you have to go to the doctor. But I don't want to. You're never going to get well. The doctor says, you have to fix this. You have to eat this. You have to stop from this. You don't want to listen to the doctor. You're not going to get well. You cannot say, what kind of a doctor is this? The doctor says, this is my limit. This is what I'm supposed to give you. Beyond that, I cannot force you. Now you have to take that. You take it, you will win for you. Be with the Ahli Zikr. Take the medicine. Inshallah, Rahman, you will get better. Fatiha. Ashka.